Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dan from MillennialMotivator.ca, helping you learn how to create, engage, and inspire. If you're new to the live stream, go ahead and click that subscribe button, the little bell down there. You'll get notified when I go live next. It's the first week, guys. We made it through the first three live videos, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, noon Eastern Standard Time, and I've got to tell you, it's a breath of fresh air for me. What is up, Stomped? Today, I wanted to get back to a business video. We've done some other ones. I gave you guys the update of where the channel is going. So we've changed from uh, edited, recorded video over to lives three times a week. Uh, my hope is to have, you know, standard channel or standard videos on certain days, but still working that out. But this week we did the intermittent fasting, whether or not that was for entrepreneurs. I really appreciate it. But some of you guys didn't just show up and watch that. Some of you actually said that you were going to give that a shot. So I'm excited to hear about whether or not that worked out for you. Today, what we're talking about, though, is does Facebook hate YouTube and how much? Now, the easiest way for me to wrestle with that and figure that out is I went over to Facebook with the last video that I did and I said, OK, what happens if I take this YouTube link and I post it up here at almost the same time as another link to another piece, same piece of content on another platform? So we've got two posts, OK, on the A post, it says this is the A post. This is the number one post. It's from YouTube. I'm trying to see how Facebook treats it. And then I link to the video. On the other one, I essentially uploaded the video into a LinkedIn article. And then I took that LinkedIn article, used the exact same copy as the one I did on the previous post, and now I had an A-B test. Essentially the exact same post. One leads to a LinkedIn link, one leads to a YouTube link, just to see how Facebook uses this appropriately. Now, why bother? First and foremost, I wanna give you guys this. You know that the biggest part that I've always stressed with your YouTube channel, well, the biggest part is actually getting on here and creating content. The second one though is dedicating how much time you put into sharing your content out there. Now, Facebook is coming into video. They really are. They've got Facebook Watch, they're doing Facebook Live. They really wanna dominate that live video feed. And I understand where that controversy is coming from between the two brands, I do. But I want to know when I'm dedicating my time to putting my videos out there from YouTube to build my YouTube exposure, to build my channel, how do I best go about that and where do I best dedicate my time to get the video out to where people are going to see it? Now, a couple of interesting things to note. So, same image, same text, same time. We're talking within 10 seconds of each other. I put the two posts up, okay? Now. Gave it 48 hours to see what the results were. And here's what I found. There is nearly double the amount of engagement and reach. How do I know that for certain? Well, I asked in the post itself for anybody that saw it in their feed to give it a like and a comment. The LinkedIn post has nearly 20, 25 comments on it saying, yep, I saw it, it showed up in my feed. It's great, it's there, it's ready to roll. The YouTube one had about 10 comments and five likes, almost, almost no engagement in comparison to the LinkedIn one. So what did I learn by this? What, what can I possibly share with you guys in regards to how this works, what this plays like, what this looks like? Well, the number one is this, understanding that the battle between Zuckerberg and YouTube is just gonna grow bigger and larger as time goes on. Now, there are lots of different ways around it. And if you really, I think, wanna dominate into uh, the Facebook Live at the same time as YouTube, start to look for ways to multicast and multi-stream because clearly the two don't want to work together. But using a tool like OBS, which I'm using right now, I'm able to actually choose a single broadcaster. I can make it a split cast broadcaster, and this is getting a little more technical. I'll probably make a video about this down the road. But I could actually broadcast one time and have a server split it and send it to both Facebook Live and YouTube. I think you're going to see more success that way than the creating the content here on YouTube and trying to share it directly to Facebook. They seem to not want to work together and an external link to YouTube just gets dropped in the feed. It doesn't get the exposure you're looking for. It's not the optimal way to go. Now, that being said, it's very interesting to me that Facebook has its eyes on who it considers competitors and who it doesn't. It clearly does not see LinkedIn as an active competitor in the video space whatsoever. So when I create a LinkedIn article, it knows my profile. The guys at Facebook know who I am. They know I'm about business. They know I'm about digital marketing. They get that. So when I'm out there and I create a LinkedIn article that's all about 
something related to me and put it into Facebook, it seems like the algorithm goes, oh, he's creating more business content. It's not video because it's an article from LinkedIn and it, LinkedIn's not really a competitor. That's fine. We can show that in the feed. We can show that to people. Now, the trick to this is not only can you post as an article, don't post it as a regular post on LinkedIn. Go in, create an article on your profile. Create the article, embed the video directly into the article. People can play it right from there. What was amazing for me is I actually saw great engagement not only on the video itself from LinkedIn, I saw better exposure on Facebook to that LinkedIn post. And then on top of that, the LinkedIn article itself got better exposure than past articles because it had video content in it. Now, I understand that the strategy cannot be used for everyone. If you're not in a business field like I am, if you're somebody who's out there and you're in, you're in maybe cosmetics or you're doing a family vlog or a personal vlog, a travel vlog, maybe LinkedIn is a platform for you. But there are lots of platforms out there that will mimic this style where you can embed a video into an article. Even a personal blog may work better than posting directly to Facebook. But if you are like me, you're an entrepreneur or a small business that is looking to get your content created here on YouTube and then get eyes on it off of a variety of different networks, LinkedIn is one that I highly recommend. I have recommended it in the past. There are other videos that you can go back and check and see just how much I advocate for LinkedIn. Go ahead and check my past videos. You'll see a couple in there about how to use LinkedIn effectively. This is another way that you can use LinkedIn effectively as a YouTuber in the business niche, okay? So what do you do? You create your video, take the link, go into your LinkedIn page. You'll see up where you create your posts in LinkedIn. It'll say, okay, do you want to create a, a post or a comment or an update? You'll see there are three options in there. Select article, open the article, give it a title, use a banner, pop in your article. This is what this video is about. Da, 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 da. Embed the video in it, bam, publish, put it out there. Now it's in the LinkedIn feed. They love it because there's video content in it. They're all about it, okay? Then you can take that LinkedIn link, share that to Facebook. You see how this is all building itself? You're getting a better integrated network. So the process is you shoot the video on YouTube, take that embed link, put it in the LinkedIn article. Take the LinkedIn article, share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter, share it to Tumblr, share it to wherever else you're doing things. What you're doing is you're building up your authority as an entrepreneur on LinkedIn as a network. You're gaining more viewership for your YouTube video, which is clearly of value to you. And in most videos that I do, and I recommend you do this as well, you direct people back to your YouTube content. So let them know I'm live on YouTube this day, this day, this day, this day. Now clearly the LinkedIn article isn't going to be live. It's gonna be the rebroadcast of your live video. Hopefully what this can create is this understanding and knowledge of, oh, I could go over to YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon Eastern time, noon Eastern standard time, and catch Dan doing this video live. Have a Q&A, provide feedback. That is it for today, guys. Anybody that's watching, if you have questions, this is the other part of the live that I really wanted to open up to you guys at the end of this video. If you're here, do you have any questions about the strategy? Do you have anything that you think might work better or do you have anything that you would like to add to the conversation? What I love about live is it presents this opportunity for us to do that right now before I get off and hopefully I can answer some of your questions, do a little bit of problem solving. Now, obviously as this grows, my hope is that we can have these conversations at the end of the videos. People can plug in afterwards, see the conversations, understand that that's what's happening and hopefully I can help some of you guys live as well. Now, I know for those of you that are live today, it looks like there's only uh, Stumped kicking around in the room, but I absolutely agree Stumped. Uh, stuff threw out there. Facebook and YouTube should work together and that would be really cool. It would be awesome if people worked together. Imagine what would happen if Burger King and McDonald's worked together. If Pepsi and Coke would work together. If Ferrari and Porsche should work together. You'd get some pretty cool collaborations and a lot of growth out of it. But competition is competition. So unfortunately, I, I don't see Zuckerberg and YouTube getting together any time. Yeah, so... I have heard a lot of people suggesting different times, either post work or before work. The reality is I start my work day at 4.30 in the morning and then I've got to grind through work until about noon, okay? After that, it, I, I go back to grinding on this. My hope was to create a lunchtime option for people where you could tune in at lunch, it's 10 minutes while you're eating your sandwich, while you're scarfing down whatever you got for lunch, you're drinking a coffee, you can tune in, be a part of it, and then we move from there. But 
if I do see a lot more feedback stumped in regards to the timing of this video that, you know, maybe 9, 8 a.m. would be better or maybe, you know, 5 o'clock at night, 4 o'clock at night would be better, that may be something I consider down the road. This is the first week, so I'll, I'll take a look at the, the dynamics of it, but for now, we're going to keep it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, noon Eastern Standard Time. It's great feedback, though. I do appreciate that, and it is something I am keeping my eye on. But... For today, guys, that's the 10-minute mark. I don't want to take it further than this unless there's questions directly about the topic. So if you have questions, as always, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what networks you find Facebook works well with. We'll see if we can come up with interesting ways to put your YouTube content out there to get better exposure. If you have any questions about how to use LinkedIn more effectively in the way that I'm talking about, feel free to leave those comments down below, and I will catch you Monday with another great video. Later.